Hello, welcome back to my channel. Let's just continue with the Tacoma. Let's begin. Here it is. The entire truck has been stripped down from that gray that it had, except the top. I'm gonna do that later. I wanted to get all this uh, bare metal into epoxy. That's what we're gonna be spraying. I'm gonna be showing you how to apply the epoxy primer. The truck has been cleaned. It has been waxed and grease removed. So it's ready. It's ready to go. Um, as you can see right there. Before I even start, I want to say thank you. I did put on my community post that I was uh, thinking of uh, quitting YouTube, but uh, I see that a lot of you have been uh, getting tips and uh, being helped out by my channel. I don't want to do that to you. So I am going to continue making videos, guys. Just support the channel. Uh, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, Anybody that uh, you know might like uh, auto painting, tell them to subscribe, hit that like button, and let's just continue. We are a family, and let's just uh, keep on learning. There's going to be a lot more. This is going to be a pearl paint job, a three-stage pearl paint job. There is going to be a lowrider that I'm going to be painting. Uh, there is going to be another car that's going to be, I'm going to be cutting fenders. It's going to be a wide body car. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's coming up that I have lined up so uh, just keep with me and uh, I really appreciate you guys and uh, let's just begin with this truck the epoxy primer I'm gonna be spraying it's gonna be from my uh, it's a DTM primer so it is direct to metal primer epoxy primer at all it's one-to-one -one. so it has uh, the activator and the primer itself the gun I'm gonna be using it's a Z gun from no name uh, it does have a 1.4 tip uh, you need to have a 1.3 4 or 5 to spray this uh, epoxy primer all right and the reason I am spraying it there's a lot of bare metal there is a lot of bare metal in this truck that uh, needs to get covered I don't want surface rust to start coming out then we're gonna have a problem so I do need to start applying it so let me show you how to apply it real quick guys also i want to thank uh brushstroke z-man for sending me this iowa plate that i don't have but this is not it this is what he did this is freaking awesome z-man thank you very much man this is beautiful this is beautiful really appreciate it brother
All right, the epoxy primer has been applied. I applied two coats, that's all it needs. Actually, it only needs one, but just applied two. I, w I waited 15 minutes in between each coat. Now, before I start applying the um, primer surfacer, I need to wait about two hours so that this uh, epoxy primer can dry. I cannot apply it right after. It's not gonna work, so you need to wait two hours to three hours before applying the primer surfacer. That's for the Uricam brand, okay? Each brand has its own uh, instructions, but for the Uricam, that's what it's required. So I'm just gonna wait two hours, three hours. I'll come back whenever I start applying that primer. It's been two hours and a half, so it's ready. Uh, now I'm going to wipe it down with a tack cloth, just making sure that all the surface is clean and start applying, mixing actually, the polyurethane primer surfacer. This is mix 411, so let me just mix it up. The gun I'm going to be using, it's from uh, Avalon and it's a uh, 2.0 tip. That's uh, the needle nozzle combination. Let's just mix it up, start applying it. There's the first coat of a uh, primer surfacer. I'm gonna wait about 15 minutes in between each coat. I'm gonna apply two more coats, which is gonna be three coats. That's perfect for blocking. Now, if you have a vehicle, or if you wanna take a vehicle to bare metal, this is the actual process you need to do uh, before painting. You do need to put apply epoxy primer. You do need to apply a, a primer surfacer. If you bring it down to bare metal, the reason I did this is because I had a lot of bare metal on this vehicle. But, there it is. Let me just apply two more coats and I'll bring you back. There we go. Three coats of uh, that primer surfacer. Body is straight. Came out real nice. 
Actually, the truck looks a lot better like this than that gray color that it had. Now, this uh, particular primer surfacer, I, I like to wait three days for it to dry completely. Um, that's my preference. Huricam does say that in about an hour you can start sanding, but uh, I just rather wait. I wait three days. I want this uh, primer surfacer to clear, to clear, <laughs> to dry completely. And if it's gonna shrink, to shrink. Um, I've never had issues with uh, primers shrinking that much. They do shrink every single primer shrinks, but that that's the reason I allow it three days. And this is it. This will be it for this video. This is how to apply epoxy primer and primer surfacer on your vehicle. And when do you need to apply it? If uh, on this truck, for some reason, if it didn't have that bad of a paint job, I would have just scuffed it down and uh, probably just applied the sealer. But this was a totally new uh, deal that I had to remove the entire gray paint. So this is perfect. This is ready. And that'll be it. I'm just going to allow it. I'll see you this coming uh, Wednesday and another video coming up on Saturday. And this will be it, guys. Thank you very much. Subscribe to the channel. Hit those links below so you can help out the channel. channel. And let's just continue. All right. Thank you. And like always, God bless.